In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, one God, amen. Another spiritual practice, bridling the tongue. This means when man speaks with people much, he speaks with God little. And when he speaks with people little, he has a chance to speak with God much. The one who speaks a lot in the world, he is not for speaking with God. The one who speaks a lot with God, he is not for speaking a lot in the world. So select your position. Would you like to speak a lot in the world? Then you are not for praying much. Flee from people and keep your speech measured. Then you will love praying. You'll be known in heaven and you won't be able to hide because they see you in heaven. But if you speak a lot with anyone about anything, then you are not for prayer. One time when one of the fathers went to England for the first time, the one who received him at the airport wanted to please him, the bishop, wanted to show him, show the bishop around England. He was a servant and he was saying, look, bishop, over here at this and look over there at that. And the bishop was patient with him for 10 minutes, then said, how about you continue reciting your, your psalm, son? Leave me to my mind. The bishop wants to say his psalms and, c and complete his prayers. And the other says to him, look at this and look at that. When it's all said and done, these countries, they're all just dust and soil. Nothing is glowing in there. It's the country. So what? There is something more important, something called talking to God. God is more important than all that. So the one who can hold his tongue can enter into prayer. The one who does not control his tongue can never enter into the depth of prayer. So long as there are many sins of the tongue, prayer will remain superficial. For we all stumble in many things. If anyone does not stumble in word, he is a perfect man, able also to bridle the whole body. He's blessed. The man who controls his tongue from slipping in a single word, he's blessed. He can control his whole body. Our mother, St. Mary, is the most beautiful model of this. But Mary kept all these things and pondered them in her heart. They say to her, your son will be this and your son will be that. And the shepherds tell tales and the wise men come and worship. She smiles and listens and remembers and continues her prayer. She thinks about what she hears, but she does not respond, except with the utmost concise and polite statements. Let no corrupt word proceed out of your mouth, but what is good for necessary edification, that it may impart grace to the hearers. Does a spring send forth fresh water and bitter from the same opening? Can a fig tree, my brethren, bear olives or a grapevine bear figs? Thus no spring yields both salt water and fresh. This means that the tongue that speaks with God can't talk, with, talk about people. It can't lie. It can't swear. It can't curse. It can't offend. A fig tree produces figs. A grapevine produces grapes. But a tongue that is sometimes like this and sometimes like that means there is something wrong.